Hi guys, my name is Karthik and I am from ExeraAutomation.com and welcome to another video of our Excel Automation's test project course. And in this video, we are going to talk about Slack integration and job notification of test project. So Slack integration. Slack integration helps to get real-time Slack notification for Slack channels once a job execution is completed or a job execution has been started or if there is anything wrong with the executions of the particular test which is happening within test project. So this is very very handy if you want to integrate your Slack channel within your job. Again this is not just restricted to Slack but if you have a webhook of any other products which supports webhook or even your custom webhooks you can also integrate that within test projects and then you can start sending the job notification to the job hooks which is pretty awesome. Again this will help you to get a real-time notifications much much easier from test project. I'm not really going to be talking about the webhook at this particular point of time, at least the custom webhook, but I'm going to go with the Slack integration which is available in test project out of the box. All right, so let's quickly see everything in action and understand how things work. So for that, I'm going to flip to my test project platform right now. All right, so now I'm in my test project platform and you can see I also have a Slack opened in here. So this is my Excel Automation Slack channel, kind of mute right now, nobody is using it, but again, I have just created this maybe in future we will be integrating that for our automation testing discussion but this is just for our demonstration for integrating within our test projects notification purpose so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go to this particular project and you can see that we have a lot of uh, tests and jobs in here so this is these are the jobs and these are the tests that we have and if you want to see or get a notification of a particular test which has been executed. For instance, you can see in here, we have something called as manage email notification. So it is not just restricted to email notification, it is also something that you can integrate with the webhooks as you can see in here. So you can turn this thing on, the job notification, and you can send an email to, uh, let's say my personal email in here, uh, and then I will receive an email once the test starts and also if I turn this thing on, this toggle on, it will also send me a message if there is job execution is completed and also I can choose this only on failure option so that I'll receive the email on finish only on failure, something like that. And then we have an option called as webhooks. So if I turn this thing on, uh, you can see that it shows me select a webhook. So once I select this, it will show you the Slack integration that I already have within my test project. And again, you can ask me where is this particular uh, integration happening and where is this thing coming from? And for that, you need to actually go to the integration option. So I'm just going to uh, leave this webhooks turned off right now. I'm just going to save this guy. I'm going to send an email to the karthik at techgeek.co.in. But I'm going to go to the integration this time. And we have an option called as webhooks plus Slack. So if you go in here, you can actually add a webhook. So I have already added a webhook for a different Exit Automation uh, Slack channel. Uh, and then we have this add to Slack option. So if I select this one, it will directly uh, authenticate with our Exit Automation uh, Slack channel, which is currently available in here. And you can see this is the Exit Automation uh, workspace it has selected. And then it is asking me for the channel from where uh, to where I actually need to send this particular uh, notification. So I can probably do this. I'm gonna send this to general uh, and aloof. So now you can see it is talking to the Slack channel, making handshake, and the webhook has been completely set for us. Pretty awesome, right? Those things are magically happening for us if you have logged in to the Slack channel. So I get an email already, which means there is an integration happened. Now if I go to the general, uh, you can see that the test project uh, integration has been happened over here, which means it's pretty good to go. Uh, pretty cool. So now everything is done. We have this guy uh, Slack channel ready. So if I go back to my project once again, and if I go to my job, let's say the cross browser, I'm going to go to this notification uh, and I'm going to turn on this webhook this time. Select a webhook. See, you can see the new exit automation of general uh, Slack channel is now available for us. So I can just select this guy and hit save, which means now it is enabled to receive the notification uh, to the Slack channels as well. So let's quickly try to run this uh, job and see what's really happening. 
So this agent Wint and Hyper V is something uh, I don't really have right now. I need to actually change uh, this agent because the one which I'm running is the latest agent. So I'm gonna hit next. And I'm gonna change this guy to the latest agent. That's the agent which I'm using. Uh, and I'm gonna leave the browser, maybe I just leave the Internet Explorer here. I know the test is gonna fail, uh, that is intentional. So I'm just gonna save this guy. And also maybe I remove this uh, EA app test because uh, it's been a long time I really uh, executed these projects. So I'm just gonna close this guy because if you remember in our earlier video, we executed this Amazon test. So I'm just gonna put this Amazon test this time uh, over here, which was something very, very interesting. So I'm just gonna add this guy and then I'm just going to uh, run this test. Uh, the job execution has been started right now and now if I go to the Slack channel, you can see that the Slack channel right now shows us that something is happening there. So it executes the test for us and you can see that the browser has been opened. The Amazon website is now running which means the execution is happening without any problem. Uh, and I can go back in here and you can see it says uh, the cross browser testing has been started uh, started by Karthi KK on the agent latest agent uh, and then the targeted platforms are like Chrome Edge Firefox and IE so you can see that every single information is now sitting within our slack channel as well which is pretty cool so you can see it's executing in all the different uh, browsers that we have got pretty interesting and the test is running as well there you go. You can see that I got an email from the test project saying the test execution has been successfully completed. Uh, there you go. It shows me something over here on how much test has been executed and there is a failure. 25 percentage passed, 50 percentage failure uh, and zero skip. So and there is an option to also see the full report. And then if I go to the test project and if I go to this uh, particular report, you can see the test has got failed actually. There you go. So only test which has got passed is with the uh, Edge Chrome browser, whereas the other tests have actually failed for some reason, which is okay for now. Uh, we don't really have to bother about it. The whole idea is to see what's really happening with the particular uh, execution. So everything is working fine without any problem in here in terms of the notification. So this is how we can work with the Slack integration within the test project and this is very very cool to see how beautifully it is designed to show us like what's really happening and similarly if there is any test fail happens you can also uh, turn on this particular notification and you get the notification like pretty much like how it happened for the email and you will see how it's executing so once again thank you very much for watching this video and have a great day